Here's what's uh, new at Higher Power Performance, Higher Powered H2O. Uh, this is a uh, 31 plate cell. Um, puts out about 2.2 liters a minute at 30 amps. Um, right now it's been running for uh, four and a half hours. Um, ambient temperature in the shop right now is 70 degrees. And the cell about 117. So the convection cooling actually works fairly well. Um, I do have a tube and shell cooler that's all stainless construction that I will be putting on this because I plan on running this cell at about 80 amps. Um, I've got a 300 amp alternator on my Suburban. Um, so I'd like to, I haven't been able to test output at 80 amps yet. I will uh, update that later. Um, I uh, also am doing, it's a 1990 Suburban with throttle body injection. Uh, I picked up this Mega Squirt. Uh, it's a DIY standalone computer. Um, there's the first completed unit that I'm actually bench testing right now. And that is a uh, vacuum fluorescent display that will actually let me download, or not download, but change constants on the fuel table as I'm driving without having a laptop hooked up to the truck. Um, I can just, I just have some momentary switches in a box and it'll just be like a uh, CD controller, just very small. Um, so I just put it on a cord on the front seat. Uh, there's the unit for my one ton pickup. It's a 350 cubic inch. Um, the reason I'm doing the Mega Squirt is because I can go in there, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can go and change all my constants and I can run a real lean fuel curve at cruise and then have great enrichment um, under wide open throttle conditions. Um, and when you start messing with map signal sensors and stuff like that to get better uh, fuel mileage, you're losing your top end power unless you're dialing it back as you're on the throttle. And I can actually go in here and set it with this computer. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of videos that will do uh, stock fuel mileage. Uh, it's 200,000 mile 350, throttle body injected like I said. Then I'm going to add the HHO to it, see what happens. Um, then I'm going to modify map signals and do an EFI on it and uh, do the difference there. And then I'm going to add the Mega Squirt. Um, and see how much better it gets w with that and, and power wise uh, there's just one of the fuel tables there um, but uh, and the next step will be after those tests with the computer and whatnot I'm going to be uh, putting a tune port on it and getting rid of the throttle body uh, it's a lot easier to control eight injectors instead of two big ones um, little better fuel delivery and I should be able to actually lean it out even more on on cruise um, but uh, pretty pretty exciting stuff um, I'm really pushing for 25 to 30 miles to the gallon out of it um, initial testing I went from uh, 14 mixed highway and uh, city and it's pretty hilly here in the new s northwest um, and uh, it went up to about 18 uh, that was with no computer mods at all um, it's a single wire O2 um, I will also be testing wideband uh, versus a switching unit and uh, in this program you can actually change where your switching voltage is for you know more, more or less stoich. Um, most uh, well all computers it's it's at half a volt um, which is close to 14 
point seven to one, um, and I can change that. I can I can change it to run at fifteen to one, thirteen to one. Um, I can have it try and, and instead of switching at point five volts, I can have it you know lean it out and put it at point six and try and keep it there instead of the computer trying to keep it at point five. Um, so unfortunately, all you with uh, 96 or newer, uh, federally you're not allowed to do this. Um, this is all going to be for your, uh, you know, your pre-96. Um, I'm really going after the muscle cars, uh, trying to let people be able to afford to drive their cars. And uh, um, I'll put a link on the on the sidebar there to my Spaces website on some of the muscle car stuff that I do. And uh, I will keep uh, keep doing the videos, and I've got a bunch of different cells that I'm trying. I've got a dry cell like uh, EBN. Um, this cell you just saw is very similar to uh, zero fossil fuel. Um, I am using his PWM. Um, it seems to be a uh, fairly stout unit. I've been wiping out MOSFETs, but uh, um, I think I've got that handled. I'm going to get some of this screw-on type and get a, a bigger MOSFET that can just dissipate the heat a little better. And his latest video is saying about a capacitor. And I'm, I'm not much into the uh, electronics designing end of it. I understand, uh, you know, the computer end of it with the cars and you know building turbocharged rigs and stuff and and, and uh, tuning these VE tables um, but uh, as far as designing my own PWM uh, there's a lot of other people out there a lot better at it than I I'm just hoping that I can add some uh, some of the applying it to the vehicle I have worked on quite a few manufacturers units and got them to outperform the way the way they had install them on on folks cars so um, and that's just a matter of understanding you know I've been a ASC master tech for 15 years but I really get into the performance stuff so um, it's uh, pretty good stuff and uh, I'll do some more videos on everything as it goes together like the vac fluorescent display there's a couple capacitors and whatnot that I need to put on yet and um, going to finish building this board. Uh, this Suburban, um, well, the engine's not here at the shop right now, but I'm building a uh, 391 cubic inch stroker for it. And my three quarter ton truck uh, has a big block in it now, but I'm going to take it down to a 383 also. Um, so I'll be doing a video on that. But that's the little stim simulator. You can change your RPM and uh, it's just bench testing the, the computer. Now this is the old Mega Squirt. This does not control Spark. Um, the newer kits they do, and I will be using that also because uh, initial testing with this HHO. Uh, as soon as I get over about two liters a minute, it'll start Spark knocking with the stock computer, um, and uh, it's. It's just showing it, you know, it's leaning it out and uh, with the increased oxygen and uh, it, under high load, low speed, um, like pulling my trailer and whatnot, it'll it'll ping going up the hills. Um, and that's what I'm hoping to rectify with this uh, this mega squirt. See, the uh, map sensor is actually on board here, and I'm going to be taking it off because. Um, I'm going to test, go ahead and put a resistor or, or a potentiometer in there and um, just do all the testing that I can. I should be able to do everything with the laptop, um, but you never know. So, uh, well, stay tuned and uh, I'll get some more videos soon. Thanks for watching.